There are two ways to create and print a poster on your Educator Plus poster printer. The first way is to use the Poster Artist software included with your Educator Plus. The second way is to print directly from any program you may already be familiar with, such as Microsoft Word, Publisher, Photoshop, etc. When designing and saving a poster in such programs, we recommend saving the file as a PDF format. Saving the file as a PDF will allow you to share this file with others who may not have the software or fonts on their computer that you used in your design. This is often the case when you design a poster in Word and email the Word document to the computer connected to the poster printer. The computer may not have the font you used on your computer. Saving the file as a PDF on your computer and then emailing it to be printed will eliminate any compatibility issues. This tutorial will cover printing an 8 and a half by 11 inch PDF document as a 24 by 36 inch poster using the Educator Plus print driver. Note, the 24 by 36 inch size is a standard size output for most posters. The 8 and a half by 11 inch document size enlarges proportionately to the 24 by 36 inch size without any distortion. Step one, open the PDF file using Adobe Acrobat Reader. Please note, opening the PDF in Microsoft Edge will not allow you to enlarge the PDF to a poster size. Microsoft Edge is often the default program for viewing PDF files. If this is the case, right-click on the PDF prior to opening and select Open With and choose Adobe Reader. If Adobe Reader is not installed on your computer, you will need to download the Adobe Acrobat Reader program for free on the Adobe website. Step 2. Once the PDF is opened in Adobe Reader, choose File from the top menu bar. Scroll down and select Print. The Print dialog window will open. Step 3. At the top of this window, in the section titled Printer, make sure your Canon printer model is the selected printer in the pull-down menu area. Press the button titled Properties located next to the selected printer name. Step 4. The Canon printer properties box will open displaying six tabs. Main, Page Setup, Layout, Favorites, Utility, and Support. We will only be using three of these tabs. Main, Page Setup, and Layout. Select the Main tab if not selected. Under the Main tab, click the pull-down tab under Media Type and select the paper or media you have loaded in the printer. Please note, if your printer is the Canon TM200, TM300, or Pro 4100S, the selection in this window will be Use Printer Settings. Leave this setting alone if this is the case. This indicates that the printer will tell the software what material you selected when installing the rolled paper into the printer. Step 5. Press the tab titled Page Setup. In this section, you will tell the software the starting size of your original PDF and the desired output size of your final poster. In the section titled Page Size, located at the top of the window, select the page size or the size the PDF was created at. In most cases, this will be 8 and a half by 11 inches. This may be the default listed in the drop-down menu. If the page size displayed is different, click the drop-down menu, scroll down to ANSI, and select the appropriate starting document size from the standard size options displayed. Step 6. The next section is where you will choose the output size of your printed poster. First, click to place a check in the box titled Enlarge Reduce Printing. Once this box is checked, three menus below will be activated. Leave the default selection Fit Paper Size as the selection. Continue down to the bottom of this section to the area titled Paper Size. The default of this section is Match Page Size. Click this pull-down menu and scroll down to Arch and select the final size of your poster. For this tutorial, choose the Arch D 
24 by 36 inch standard poster size. Step 7, continue down to the next section titled Orientation. Here select if your poster is designed as a portrait or landscape orientation. Click the box next to the appropriate layout of your design. Step 8, the poster printer diagram and small information box above the diagram. Located on the left side of the dialog box is a great representation of what will occur when you press print. The small information box provides you details you can use as a final check. Here you can confirm you inputted the correct starting PDF document size and the correct size of the poster when printed. Note in the window, the size listed above the blue stripe is your starting document size. The size listed below the blue stripe is the size of the poster that will be printed. Make sure that these sizes match your starting PDF size and desired output size. If these details are not correct, do not continue and check the above steps. The diagram of the printer located under the information box on the left side of this page represents how your poster will be oriented on the roll of paper when you hit print. You may notice that there is a large amount of white space to the left of the poster on the printer image. This represents wasted paper. To eliminate this waste, press the box title Rotate Page 90 Degrees. When checked, the diagram of the printer on the left will change showing your poster turned on its side to conserve paper. Note, if you are printing on a 24-inch wide roll of paper and your desired poster size is 24 by 36, you will not see a change when this box is selected. The final step under the Layout tab is to make sure you have selected the correct roll paper width. Scroll down to the section titled Roll Paper Width and make sure this setting matches the width of paper installed into the printer. The options depending on your printer model are 24 inch, 36 inch, 44 inch or cut sheet. Step 10, press the Layout tab. Under the Layout tab, you want to make sure that our poster is centered on the page. To do so, place a check in the box titled Print Centered. You are now ready to send the job to the printer. Press the OK button at the bottom of the page to close the properties window. Then, press the Print button at the bottom of the Print dialog box to send the print job to the printer. Thank you for your time and for watching this tutorial created by AGC Education. If you have any questions or would like a guided walkthrough on any of our trainings, please call AGC Education at 1-800-535-7553 and we would be happy to schedule a training walkthrough with you.